Today I'm going to show you and talk about how I throw a cylinder. Here you see the finished cylinder cut in half, nice even walls. That's the goal. Here I'm putting down my one pound of clay. I'm going to start to center. Here you see me coning up the clay, getting it nice and mixed up, and realigning those particles in the direction of the spinning wheel. Um, I'm using the slip on my hands to flatten it a little lower. This will have about a three and a half inch base, three inch foot or um, floor, floor on the inside of the cylinder. Here I'm opening up my floor. You see it's nice, <clears throat> excuse me, nice and flat. Going back over it with the side of my thumb. Love that as a tool to make this nice and flat and compressed against the base. Um, compressing that's going to reduce your, your odds of getting a S crack. Here I'm doing my first cone or um, our first collar or pole. You see, I pull it up into a volcano shape. Uh, that's very structurally sound and will make the rest of my poles easier. Then I'm going for another collar there just to just to uh, narrow in the base a little bit, get it closer to my three and a half inches that I'm shooting for. And then going for my first proper pull. Okay. Getting most of my height out of that first pull. I'm going to talk through this next pull a little, little more. <laughs> Compressing the rim. Keep that rim happy. It's holding together the rest of your piece. Okay, making sure everything's nice and slippery. You don't want to feel any friction during your pulls. Okay. You see, I don't use a sponge, so got to make sure the water's on there nice and evenly. And we go, pushing out from the inside over my outside hand and then up together that inside hand's always going to stay above that outside hand until the very end and i'm sp paying a little bit of special attention to the rim at the end of my pole i want it to become off to a beveled edge nice drinking edge i'll be turning these into cups um, they won't get handles but these will be nice nice tumblers for water iced tea lemonade i don't know now I'm cleaning up the form with a metal rib. I want this to be as straight and simple as possible. We're just going straight up with the rib, trying to make sure there aren't any points where the clay is coming out or dipping in for a hip, uh, just nice and straight. That got the bulk of it with my two passes there, and then I'm going to go back down and do some fine, uh, fine detail work, making sure that this is hopefully a perfect cylinder. Um, and I'm looking in a mirror in front of me that you can't see, but, uh, that's how I look at the, in the mirror and I'm looking at the horizon of the cup and I want that to be a straight line here. I'm using a sponge on a stick to get some residual water out of the inside. Uh, leaving that in there is another thing that'll contribute to a crack in the bottom of your piece. So get that out of there. And I'm using a, a small piece of chamois to wrap around the rim and make it a nice, smooth, beveled drinking edge. Um, now I'm just going to slice a little bit away from the, the bottom of the piece, give it a little lift, and that'll also help it um, help my wire uh, slide under there nicely uh, so I can get a good release. And I'm going to clean my hands with my sponge. Cleaning my hands is a two-step process. Sponge, then towel. I've left my towel over there. Uh, now I'm toweled off, and yeah, I forgot to wire it, uh, so I immediately realized my mistake, and no worries, I'm just going to wire it off now, I didn't distort the shape too bad, um, and then like I said, dry and clean hands will pick this thing up, no problem, one side first, and then the other, just like that.